8. B-list celebs to our jerks and 7. To our sweethearts. B-listers. Where would our celebrity incest culture be without them? Not as idealized or untouchable as the A-list elite, they seem a little closer to reality, a little closer to us. When it comes to who ends up as a jerk for a sweetheart, fame can play a number of roles. Some of the selects on our list actually made it to the top of their game, at one time, that is. In fact, in some cases, their jerkish personality and widespread rumors of being difficult to work with seem to have sidelined a once promising career. In other cases, individuals who are genuinely nice and not obsessed with money or fame may be consciously foregoing the kind of fishbowl scrutiny and Hollywood competitiveness that would put them on the A-list. Here's a list of 15 who become notable for being either a jerk or a sweetheart, and it isn't always who you'd think. 1. Sweetheart Steve Buscemi It almost hurts to put actor Steve Buscemi on the list. He's easily one of the most recognizable actors in Hollywood, and he's taken on a number of iconic roles, from his breakout in the Coon Brothers hit Fargo to a starring turn in HBO's Boardwalk Vampire. Still, you couldn't say that he's achieved leading man status, and what's more, that doesn't seem to bother the talented actor who's universally described as down-to-earth and relatable. The former firefighter, his time spent literally helping to dig through the rubble of what was once the World Trade Center after 9 over 11 has become the stuff of legend. He spent five days working 12-hour shifts looking for traces of his former firefighting colleagues. His reputation with acting colleagues is no less stellar, with universal reports of his kindness and generosity. He may play bad guys and rub characters on screen, but by all accounts, that comes in opposition to a true heart of gold. 2. Sweetheart, Rumi Mara Actress Rumi Mara gained fame in the American version of the dark thriller The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and while she worked steadily since then, she hasn't quite hit the A-list heights just yet. But when it comes to philanthropy, she's already a superstar. Rumi comes from a wealthy family, her mother's family founded the Pittsburgh Steelers and NFL franchise, and her father's family dealed with the New York Giants. But, while they're rich and privileged, her parents seem to have instilled socially responsible values in the talented actress. She founded Faces of Kybra in 2008. The charity offers food, shelter, and medicine to orphans in the slums of Nairobi. Kenya, and it's not the only charitable organization she's associated with. It would be easy for her to party away a privileged lifestyle, so we applaud her efforts to give back instead. 3. Sweetheart, Jack Black Jack Black seemed destined for comedic success after School of Rock and other ostensible breakout roles. We're not sure what happened to plump him down on the B-list, but we're pretty certain it had nothing to do with his personality. In an interview, one of his old buddies from grade school related the story of how Jack brought candy to school and hid it around the playground, just as a nice surprise for his schoolmate. Another story on the internet is told by someone who works at a movie theater. They say that Jack came in to watch a flick and spilled popcorn all along the front row, and then insisted on cleaning it up himself. He's funny and is a talented musician, too, so we're hoping another big break comes his way soon. 4. Sweetheart, George Takei Star Trek icon and current social media star George Takei is apparently just as nice a guy off-screen as he sounds in the posts read and shared by millions. In his posts, he comes across as humane and intelligent, and the stories from fans and co-stars back up the impression. There are many reports to confirm the fact that in his many appearances at fan events, he won't leave autograph signings until he's talked to every single person one to one. He once appeared at a media event hours before it started, just so he could sign a doll for a sick fan who couldn't make it in person. His family was sent to internment camps during World War II, and he struggled with acceptance as a gay man in Hollywood for years but he never comes across as bitter and angry. He's even hosted the YouTube series showing seniors how to use technology. 
assured, he's had his public feud with fellow original trigger William Shatner, but we here will seduce them. So we're not holding it against George. 5. Sweetheart, Keanu Reeves. We've all probably seen that meme about Keanu Reeves and what a down-to-earth guy he really is. It turns out that it all seems to be true. Once an A-lister with the Matrix trilogy and other hit movies on his resume, he's slipped to the B-list in recent years. Although the groundbreaking John Wick and John Wick seem to be putting him back in the spotlight. If so, it really couldn't happen to a better, more awesome guy. He's certainly known a lot of tragedy in his life, including abandonment by his father at an early age, the death of Old Face River Phoenix, and the stillborn birth of his child by former wife Jennifer Syme in 1999. He's also garnered the reputation as one of the most generous and charitable guys in Hollywood. He made about $114 million personally from the Matrix series and insisted on giving about $80 million of that to special effects and makeup people. He took voluntary pay cuts on movies like The Devil's Advocate so that producers could afford stars like Hall Pacino and reportedly gave a down on his luck stage builder, one of the poorest pay people on a typical movie set, a $20,000 Christmas bonus just to help out. There are no rumors of bad behavior, which is unusual for Hollywood to counter all the stories of generosity and just plain niceness. Here's hoping the John Wick series catapults him back onto the A-list. It literally couldn't happen to a nicer guy. 6. Sweetheart, Blade Lively. She's known for a few prominent movie roles and, of course, her big career break in Gossip Girls, but these days, Blonde beauty Blake Lively is probably best known for her marriage to megastar Ryan Reynolds and an Instagram account that reveals her as everybody's sweetheart next door. She's shared funny pics of herself with a double chin, chowing down on pizza, adorable family photos, and more. Blake comes across as down-to-earth and perfectly relatable, despite the megastar couplehood and an enviable sense of style that's made her a fashion icon. She's one of those rare actresses who are equally loved by her male and female fans. We're hoping motherhood doesn't put her career on hold for too long so she can bounce right up to A-list status, where this sexy sweetheart really belongs. 7. Sweetheart, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser was a rare star who could combine action and comedic roles in his heyday on the A-list back in the day. His career peaked in the Mummy trilogy especially the first two outings starring opposite Rachel Wise. In fact, in 2017, even outside the spotlight for about three years at that point, his rabbit fans urged for a boycott of the reboot starring Tom Cruise, out of deference for the actor. It turns out the fan devotion, in this case, is justified. From interviewers to co-stars, the reaction to the big, Square Jaw actor has been one of universal goodwill. He's prone to giggles, and that sweetness his characters display on screen is apparently true to life. It's too bad the former day lister made some bad career decisions and got derailed by a few personal issues, landing him squarely on the B-side of Hollywood. 8. Jerk, Gene Simmons. In June 2017, Chris frontman Gene Simmons abandoned his efforts to trademark the devil's horn hand gesture that he says he made famous. Trademark the hand gesture. It's a jerk move by definition. Along with trying to trademark a hand gesture performed by millions of metal, and not necessarily Chris fans, Simmons routinely trashes other musicians in public, including Nirvana and Madonna, among others. He's well known for making pithy statements like men shouldn't get married until they're 60 and that rock died in 1988. He's also known for cashing in wherever he can, including a reality TV show, Cus Condoms, and more. That's where the devil's hand gesture trademark attempt comes into the picture, we're guessing. The biggest question, though, is why media types continue to interview this has been and ask him his opinion on anything 